Hi, welcome again to uh, an episode of Sailing and Electronics. Well, today we're going to talk about um, soldering and more uh, especially about a device like this one uh, to extract the solder fumes from uh, the place you are working. So it's really important as you know when you're soldering uh, tin and lead is coming free and that's something which is not uh, very good for your health so uh, that's why I use this, uh, this extractor. That's also the reason why it took so long uh, before you got this uh, video because I wanted to have this extractor before starting uh, soldering all my 14 um, battery banks so uh, I'm just gonna explain a little bit about this uh, fume extractor. This fume extractor is um, the FA400. Uh, it's um, a Chinese version of uh, a US based model. So it's indeed a copy, but because this uh, device is so easy and if you want you can make it yourself, um, that I bought it um, at uh, AliExpress. This device um, cost me about uh, 35 euros so it's not a lot of money. It uh, was ordered for European uh, socket but it was not uh, the socket that I wanted but they delivered a uh, transformer or an adapter piece with it so we can uh, use it in our plug. Another reason why we didn't do uh, the uh, soldering um, video immediately was because I first ordered these glass fuses from um, one amperage uh, but I decided to go to two amperage uh, just to be sure that uh, when these uh, go out at three amperage I will have some degree of um, safety and I will have also some degree of uh, insurance that it will not pop too, too soon. Yeah? Uh, you probably have seen also other videos where, it, um, where they recommend to, to use the 0.5 amp uh, fuses, but I rather not. Uh, this is the bag I got. I ordered a thousand ones, so I have some sorting to do. Next item I also ordered was um, this wire. This is... Um, tent copper wire from 0.25 millimeters um, and this is actually also fuse wire so this will be used for the back end for the negative side and this uh, is rated to pop or not pop but melt um, at about five to six amps so this should uh, melt later than uh, the positive side with the glass fuses so in reality probably this will never melt yeah but just to be sure that if uh, a glass fuse would not work then i have uh, also on the negative side some security which only starts at 5 amps but it's uh, added security it's also easier to solder uh, it will go much faster than the glass fuses but now um, I will show you some more details about this device, how it works, what it can do. Um, and I will show you really how it uh, takes the, the vapor or the, the fumes from the soldering site into this machine. And what comes out will be much more clean air or, or less dirty air. Yeah, uh, I especially wanted this because I do this uh, in-house yeah if you are soldering in a very big space um, then maybe it's not necessary if you uh, at least uh, make sure that there is enough ventilation that the smoke does not come directly from the side you are soldering into your lungs so if we take a closer look to the device we see at uh, the back end that we have uh, an on off switch it's a 220 volts, uh, 14 watts uh, machine, or it's only the vent ventilator which uh, is uh, 14 watts. When we turn it around, we see that uh, we have here 
the carbon filter. Yeah, it's just a piece of uh, carbon impregnated uh, foam, which is put in front of uh, the fan. You can just put it in there, and that's it. I've bought this uh, machine with uh, a, a pack of 10 of these foams, so it will last me some time. Um, it's also, if you look at the foam, it will probably not be visible on the camera, but yes indeed, it, it, it does not uh, let through a lot of light, so that means it's quite dense, and the denser the foam, uh, the better the filtration. Uh, but of course also uh, the harder the flow of um, the fumes will be. So when you are soldering uh, over here, then the fumes will come in right into the carbon filter and they will suck away uh, the, the vapor. You can also put this model like this and when you will solder here, it will extract the fumes in there and put out the cleaner air uh, on top of it. The advantage in putting it this way is that um, the fan has more, uh, more power, not more power, but because of uh, the entrance is smaller, yeah, it creates a little bit of a vortex uh, which sucks in uh, the air more directly. Yeah? And it comes out just over here. The problem, of course, with um, the packs that we want to make is if we put them in front of there, yeah, they're, they're higher than uh, this entrance. So probably I will put something underneath of it so that the soldering is done on the same height of this piece. And that way I think it will be optimized uh, for my kind of soldering. If we do it like this, then it has to be or really close to, just to have um, the soldering coming into there. Or we should angle it a little bit more like that, that it captures more um, of the air. As you can see, I will place the fan like this, the air will go in here and come out here. So maybe if you see uh, some of the, um, the vapor over there, then it's uh, not that good. So first of all, we put it on. As you can hear, it makes some noise, but uh, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, like a noisy fan. So as you can see, when I put it over here, it just goes up. If I put it closer, it goes in. As you can see, quite some of the um, of the fumes are still going over the top. If we do it completely in there, you can see almost nothing or not a lot is coming out at the back side. If we put it like this, you immediately hear there's not a sound. So I start again from over here. It doesn't take up a lot of smoke. When I put it here, it takes up a lot of smoke. You can say it's almost everything. And you can see also some puffs which are coming out again. 
but it's much cleaner than it was and also it does not come into my direction so I think all in all this is a great addition um, and also a safety or healthy measure you should try to use when you are soldering a lot of uh, batteries uh, when you assemble the battery packs I hope you liked this video about the fume extractor so next time now we have the fuses the fume extractor we have all the batteries in place um, now we have all this ready uh, the next uh, video will be about soldering the glass fuses onto the bus bars so these will uh, be made ready um, to become really one uh, battery for uh, the battery bank if you like this video uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, or put a thumbs up and i hope to see you uh, in the next episode thank you very much see you bye